So you want to take a risk and be funny and slap your opponent during the face-off the night before the fight? Well, a lot of people are going to remember you, but you risk one thing, looking stupid. And if there's anyone to slap in the UFC, I definitely would have not picked this guy. Imadeov is facing off Pereira, and he decides to slap the dude who essentially likes to fight like this. Yes. He also fights like this. He'll do this every once in a while. Some of these. A little bit of that chases you down. So he pretty much has every button on the PlayStation controller. But good thing for this dude, he had the slap button on that night. But my guy, are you in for a treat? Without going into too many details, this fight went the same way I'm about to show you. The third round was a complete clowning by Pereira. He completely took it to him, embarrassed him, and did everything he wanted to to him. It was an absolute striking exhibition, made it look way too easy. What I found really funny was that revenge is a biatch. And you'll see here why as Pereira in the closing minutes of the third round starts clowning him like he's been the whole fight. Except this time, he's dancing. And right here, another whack just to have that right back at you. Let's see that one more time. Kadoosh. Right after he clowned him a little bit more. And he's been doing this for three rounds. I'm giving you guys a very quick highlight here. This is a little bit funny to see a guy who started with a slap now being the one getting slapped. He's encouraging, egging him on. Come on, you want to fight? You want to slap? Look, check it out. Let's go. Whoop. You got nothing. Look, you ready? You want the slap hands? Here you go. Here's my right hand. He tells him what hand he's going to slap him with. And then he slaps him with it. And then he says, there you go. You want more? Come on. This is as funny as it gets, as entertaining as it gets. Hands down, total disdain for him. Eh, a little leg kick here, no big deal. But this is how the fight ends. He's encouraging more of the engage, clowning him. Hands down the Bruce Lee stance. Whoa, a little bit of fun here for the fans that are not in attendance because of damn COVID and then a body slam right here to take this dude down, secure the fight. And yes, there was no tap here from what I could see. Maybe a minor tap. I'm not really sure what happened, but the guy was getting clowned all night. And yes, he was complaining. You could take a quick look here. There was really no tap, but the gushing blood, the look of humiliation, the lesson learned, it's all there for the taking. Congratulations, Pereira. And I hope that we learned our lesson here, that when you slap, you get slapped. Guys, that was just our quick rundown here. Make sure you subscribe. We got a lot of silly and serious content here made for fighting. We'll see you next episode.